morning, everyone. I could not be more delighted to welcome you to the 29th Founders Day event. We are having our panel today, and we're calling it Our City, Our Voice, the economy in the New York City elections. The reason for this get-together today, the economy and New York City politics, is because people are frightened. Over the last 20 years, federal funding for the Department of Aging has been reduced from 70% to 30%. How will the city provide services, meals, medical cost, uh, medical care, social activities during the current budget crisis? The significant factor is this one, beloved, that more than any other age group, seniors <coughs> vote. In non-presidential elections like this one, you vote more than anyone else. That is, you have power, particularly in non-presidential elections. Even though we're a big local, the fact that we're part of something bigger is very important. We're also part of a statewide Teamsters organization as well. And that gives us more strength too. So our voices are heard. All the candidates are very interested in our support. Greg Floyd is the trustee on the New York City Employees Retirement System. I am his designated trustee. Uh, your pensions are totally, totally safe. You know exactly what you're going to get each month. You can rely on it. And if our investments do not yield the fruit that they did in the past because the market went south, the city has to kick in the money. So you're in great shape. We are fortunate to have the kind of leadership in the White House that we deserve for a change. And it's moving in the right direction. We have a long way to go in terms of getting helping Barack Obama get to where we need to be as a country and where he would like to go. But he can't do it by himself and it's going to take a lot. Not just this union, but I think all unions have to do a lot more in terms of working together. It gets me angry and it should get you angry as well when um, uh, leaders talk about us as if we're second class citizens. They don't use the term public employees, they use the term head count. The city's head count. That's what you are. You're a head, all right, that they count as a cost for doing business in the city of New York. Well, you're not a head count. You have a head and a very good one, but you're not a head count. You are a, a, a person, an employee, who served long and hard and well and provided incredible service to the other citizens of the city of New York. I am really a proud Teamster, and I am really proud to be the director of the retiree division. And, and the reason I'm proud to be the director of the retiree division is because of all of you, because of the things you do. You are so amazing. Please join us in the ballroom next door. And thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. This is a special occasion because today we get to honor one of our own who's contributed so much to this, this society. We recently learned that there was a local 237 retiree who was a member of the Tuskegee Airmen ground crew during World War II, and he received the Congressional Gold Medal of Honor, the nation's highest civilian honor. And he served as a bodyguard for Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King during the march from Selma to Montgomery for the voting rights for black people in 1965. His name is Dabney Montgomery. First, I would like to say thank you to my wife, Amelia, who has tolerated me for 38 years. You have made me happy. I would like to ask my wife one question. Do I have to take out the garbage tonight? <laughs> when I left home in Selma, Alabama, my father, Dre, told me, one thing, son, wherever you go, I want you to join a church and a union. And if, and I believe the dead know what the living does, 
I am sure he is smiling in his grave because I have joined a union. I want to bring to you a New Yorker for all of us, a New Yorker that is someone for the United States of America. We're glad that she is here with us today. We're glad that she's a New Yorker, and we're glad that she's representing us in Congress. I bring you Carolyn Maloney. Thank you. All I can say is that it's been a really, really thrilling time to be in Washington. I was elected in 93 with, uh, with President Clinton, and then we lost the House. Republicans took over, and we finally regained it in the last Congress. And with Obama as our president, we are moving forward. When you become a partner with uh, labor, you have to do your part and make sure that the federal dollars come home. I am pleased to say that in my district, the two largest transportation projects in the country are in my district, the Second Avenue Subway and the East Side Queens Connector. A lot of people worked hard on this, but I'm proud to say not only did it bring $400 million into our city for the next two years, but 38,000 good paying jobs right now constructing those projects. It's an investment in the future. It's an investment in our country. It was Adam Smith, the patron saint of the, three, of the free market and capitalism who said, and I quote, it was not by gold or by silver, but by labor that all the wealth of the world was originally purchased. And I am proud to call myself a friend of labor because when I look across this room and I see before me the true wealth of our nation, our great city and state, and it is labor. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Every time we meet, it's like they make you young. Like, like myself, I worked 26 years for them, housing authority, and I feel like I only work 10 when I meet with my, with my union. I joined the union, uh, I thought that was the best thing that happened to me. The second best thing, the first thing I got married. The retirees, it's a family. They help us any way, any shape, any form. That's the family that laugh together, we're the family that hugs, we're the family. It's that extended family, that union family. Uh, we have like the same, we have retired from work but not from the union. Basically, this is what it is. You continue to be part of the union, no matter what. Oh, yes, I feel very happy because I feel like it, the union is my home. So that's what unions are for. They're for doing good things politically and for doing good things socially, and then for having brothers and sisters who are part of a union. 